Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'll be doing a quick video to walk you through how you can review how much time you spent in each heart rate zone for a given activity. Now I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It shouldn't matter if you've got one of the solar versions or non-solar versions of this watch. The video should work the same for everybody. The other thing I'll mention is this is only going to work if when you did the given activity that you're going to look at, that you had the heart rate feature on. And that's kind of common sense, but if you go and you follow this video and you don't see anything, that could be why. So this is very basic. What I'm gonna do first is show you how you can go view it. And then maybe I'll go into the Garmin Connect app as well and show you how you can actually adjust the ranges that, the, that determine which zone you're in at what period. So first and foremost, we're gonna press and hold the menu button, which is the middle button on the left-hand side. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the ABC button, which is your down button. We're gonna to go to history. We're gonna press GPS to select history. Then we're gonna choose activities. So I'm gonna press GPS to select activities. You can pick any of your activities. It should show you all of your saved activities in here. Any one of them you wanna see the heart rate zone on, just press GPS to select the activity. The bigger the activity, the longer it'll take to load. You'll see in my case, it's loading that activity and all of the information associated with the given activity. The activity is loaded. I'm gonna again use the ABC down button and I'm going to go down to time in zone. I'm going to press GPS to select that. So you'll notice for this given activity, for zone five, I had zero minutes, zero seconds in that heart rate zone. For zone four, I had 18 minutes and 30, I'm sorry, 18 minutes and 38 seconds in zone four. Zone three, I had one hour, 43 minutes and five seconds, and then so on and so forth. Zone two, I was in there for 20 minutes and 29 seconds. And then zone one, which is usually your warm up phase, one minute and 12 seconds. So that's a quick way just to view the amount of time for the activity that you spend in each heart rate zone. It's really basic information. Now what I'm gonna do, once you're done here, all you're gonna do is press the back button, go back to your main screen. I'll go into Garmin Connect and I'll show you how you can actually adjust these heart rate settings. There's one setting that's a default for all activities, but there's certain activities that you can specify a different heart rate zone for the given activity. I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, so as I mentioned before, now I'm on my cell phone. Now I'm using an iOS device. Shouldn't matter whether you're using Apple or Android, this video should work the same for everybody. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Garmin Connect app. Once we're in the Garmin Connect app, up at the top bar, you'll see a picture of your watch, your Garmin Instinct. You're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna scroll to the bottom and you're going to select user settings. Against one, again, once you're in user settings, you're gonna to scroll to the bottom and you're gonna click on heart rate zones. So this right here is going to determine how many beats per minute gets you into which given zone. So you can see for mine, zone one is 88 beats per minute to 106 beats per minute, and then 106 beats per minute to 123 gets me into zone two, 123 to 141 gets me into zone three, et cetera, et cetera. You'll also notice that it's based on my percent of max heart rate. You can change that if you want to percent of heart rate reserve. I'll say this, I don't usually adjust any of this stuff. I just go with whatever it shows in here for me, but maybe you've worked with a cardiologist or a doctor and you know what uh, beats per minute you should be doing. Maybe you've got an irregular or a high heart rate. You can adjust these as you need to. So if I wanted to change heart rate zone from 88 to something else, all I have to do is click on it, change it to whatever value I want to, and then go on to the next value. If you happen to mess up, there is a reset button down at the bottom that'll reset you back to the default. You'll notice at the top, there's a heart icon that's highlighted. This is my default heart rate for all activities. However, you'll also know that there's an icon for running, there's an icon for cycling, there's an icon for swimming. If you want to, you can have different heart rate zones for when you're doing a running activity, a cycling activity, or a swimming activity. However, those are the only three activities that you can specify a different heart rate zone. All other activities are going to use whatever values are under the icon with the heart. It's very easy. I don't know that you'd really need to change these settings, but if you ever wanted to look at yours or try and adjust them, uh, you can sure do it right here. I hope this video helps, at least shows you how to look at your zones and heart rate during an activity, as well as to adjust them in Garmin Connect if you need to. As always, if you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.